Africa Connect, implementing a research and education network for Southern and Eastern Africa. Sub-Saharan Africa is a vast geographical area with a youthful population where more than 600 research institutions and universities produce terabytes of information every day. The Africa Connect project is a collaboration between 13 African national research and education networks, the West and Central African Research and Education Network, WACREN, five European NRENs, the European Commission, the African Union Commission, the African Caribbean and Pacific Group of States, and the operators Dante and Ubuntunet Alliance. The Africa Connect project is coordinated by two organizations, Dante, operator of Géon and other regional research and education networks around the world, and the Ubuntunet Alliance, which operates the Ubuntunet network in eastern and southern Africa. The project is creating and uniting a huge academic and scientific community, bringing research and educational opportunities unprecedented in Africa. Starting with individual links to Europe, deployed by the Kenyan, Mozambican, South African and Tanzanian NRENs, the Ubuntunet network provides access to 40 million users at institutions and universities connected to the pan-European network, Géant. Now, with the introduction of Africa Connect, more countries in the region are able to connect to each other and to the rest of the world, increasing the scope for intra-regional and international collaboration. UbuntuNet supports data-intensive, time-critical, collaborative applications, but can equally be used to provide fast access to conventional web-based resources from all over the southern and eastern African region and beyond. The UbuntuNet network supports fields of research and education which have significant societal benefits for the region, including e-learning, malaria research, crop research, telemedicine and other medical applications, natural hazard warning and environmental monitoring, climate forecasting, bioinformatics research, e-culture, earth observation, and radio astronomy. Lantaya, Malawi's busy commercial center, is the second largest city in the country with around 728,000 inhabitants. The Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital is the major referral hospital in Blantyre and is used as a teaching hospital for the College of Medicine, a constituent college of the University of Malawi. The children's ward sees 80,000 outpatients and admits 28,000 into the hospital every year. At the hospital, the Wellcome Trust, a global charitable foundation for health, has set up the Malawi Wellcome Trust Clinical Research Programme. Through an international collaboration with the Wellcome Trust Sanger Institute in Cambridge, UK, scientists at the Malawi College of Medicine are investigating a new strain of Salmonella, which is having a life-threatening effect on the young and vulnerable in sub-Saharan Africa. Salmonella is a common worldwide problem, but the disease in sub-Saharan Africa has unique characteristics which require thorough investigation by scientists. Most people will associate non-typhoidal salmonella, or NTS, as an unpleasant but largely self-limiting diarrhoea. However, in susceptible populations in sub-Saharan Africa, this disease can manifest as a very severe and invasive disease. Invasive NTS disease has a huge impact on the local populations in sub-Saharan Africa. And this is because it's associated with an extremely high mortality rate. As much as 50% of the people who get invasive NTS disease die within days. To complicate matters further, we know that the ST313 clone is highly resistant to many of the frontline drugs which are used to treat the disease. The only way to study the strain in detail is through in-depth genome sequence analysis 
to challenge basic medical assumptions and distinguish closely related viruses. So this is where our collaboration with the Sangha has been particularly critical in trying to understand the genomics or the genetic basis for the differences in transmission, for the differences in the severity of the disease, as well as uh, in understanding the mechanisms of resistance. These studies are made possible by strong collaborations that exist between the College of Medicine and uh, world-class centers uh, of research, such as the Wellcome Trust Sangha Institute. We have remote access to powerful computers and software at the Sangha Institute, which enables us to uh, perform genome sequence data analysis. A high-speed internet connection is key to a quick understanding of the genetic diversity of uh, Nantefoda salmonella strains which in future may contribute to um, efforts to develop a vaccine. While we have the sequencing technology and resources to sequence thousands of disease isolates, it's critical that we interact with scientists in Malawi who track the disease locally. The Ubuntu Net network promises to improve our ability to work effectively with our collaborators in Malawi and elsewhere in sub-Saharan Africa. And, and uh, the studies here have been quite inform informative and, and um, you know, to, to undertake these studies, we really rely on good network between you know, Malawi and the Sangha. So this is all absolutely fundamental to our progress as well as uh, for the a, a, a socio-economic development of Africa. Our ability to understand and react to new disease dynamics as they happen will be transformed by the Africa Connect initiative. So we have waited for a long time and now we are so happy that this network is here. And now the ball is now a court to advance our research, to put our research on the map and even to learn new ideas from researchers that would not have made it uh, to this part of Africa. So this is a very great uh, opportunity. It's a very great, it's a breakthrough in, in the way we have conducted our research and education. With the opportunities offered by the Africa Connect project, this unique regional network will transform our higher education and research with collaboration being at its core. Access to higher education will be expanded. Participation in high-level scientific projects and teams will be so much easier. Medical research and healthcare delivery will be enhanced. We are very grateful to the EU, the regional member states, who are participants in the network and to the Ubuntu Alliance hosted right here in Malawi for this innovative project. Through the collaboration of the Africa Connect partners, the increased capacity and reach of the Ubuntu Net network heralds a new dawn of academic and scientific development, stimulating cooperation and collaboration, bringing the future to southern and eastern Africa. Yeah.